Well, at ICON, we're value investors, but we never use PE, we never use price to book. We compute intrinsic value. And the way we do value, tech stocks are still underpriced on average, partly because their earnings are growing so fast that that makes value, fair value, grow, and prices are just trying to catch up to value. So can you give us an example? I mean, some would, would point to some of the, the FANG stocks, for instance, Craig, and, and I just pulled that out because they, they contributed most of the gains for the S&P 500 year to date. Um, in general, are they not yet fairly valued? Are they below your fair value estimates? Only one is, is overpriced in our view. The rest, as you said, our view is they are still underpriced. But even in smaller names, uh, our system has, has loved semiconductors and semiconductor equipment for the last couple of years, and we still do. All right. Uh, Randy, where do you stand on technology, especially as we are awaiting one of those big uh, FANG names to report earnings after the bell? And that could really be um, a market determinant in terms of trade the next day. Netflix. So cert certainly we, we like uh, technology. The FANG stocks have been fantastic, but everybody already knows that. So what I'm kind of looking at is if you already own FANG or if you're already in an index, that way you own FANG, what are you going to buy next? And so we're looking at names that are in the retail space like uh, Dick's Sporting Goods or in new tech, smaller companies like a DocuSign, something like that, or uh, in FinTech, uh, looking at PayPal, which is a, a big well-known company, but nonetheless, um, doing very, very well and having a really great, um, you know, runway ahead of it. Um, so I, I'm assuming that you own FANG. You should continue to own FANG and definitely don't give up on Netflix. They have not disappointed yet. Um, I really don't expect them to disappoint. Um, so, so you're you know, not we, concerned we about the like downgrades that have happened in the last couple of days as a lot of analysts have just looked at the tremendous run. I mean, it's the NVIDIA of the it year, right? Tremendous. And it how, is do you, tremendous. how do you meet the expectations that are built into such a, a run? You know, that's what they said last quarter and the quarter before that <laughs> and the quarter before that. And, you know, they just keep on beating it and beating it and beating it. So, you know, until they fail to beat it, uh, I'm going to hang in there um, with those names. Um, you know, as your other guest said, you know, these things are reasonably priced. Uh, they're not overpriced. This is not 1999. However, I do disagree on the semiconductors. I'm a little worried about the semiconductor space. Uh, traditionally, the semiconductor space is an early cycle kind of uh, buy point, and they ran up a lot in the last couple of years, and they've okay. really done next to nothing this year. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.